The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, began his visit to Poland with a meeting with Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki. This meeting, of course, concerned the current situation beyond our eastern border and the strengthening of the eastern flank here and the strengthening of the presence of American troops. NATO is not at war with Russia. The North Atlantic Treaty is not at war with Russia. However, we want to help end this war. Immediately after the meeting, Antony Blinken spoke with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Zbigniew Rau. The heads of Polish and U.S. diplomacy also visited the reception center at Halakijowska in Młyny. There they met, among others, representatives of Ukrainian organizations. I call on Russia to refrain from attacks on civilian populations. I call both parties to abide by international humanitarian law and to treat prisoners of war with dignity. Now, the very ideals that bind us, freedom, democracy, peace, security, are under threat in this region uh, as never before. Further coordination of the Allies' actions in the face of the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the possibility of increasing humanitarian aid were the main topics discussed at today's meeting. Over 700,000 refugees from Ukraine have arrived in Poland since February 24th. On Friday alone, by 3 p.m., the fire brigades cleared nearly 60,000 people. We also sent a disaster assistance response team to Poland, working very closely with humanitarian agencies to provide the critical health care, safe drinking water, sanitation, hygiene supplies, protection for vulnerable people, uh, especially uh, women and children. Moreover, today Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki also paid a visit to the repository of the Governmental Strategic Reserves Agency in Germany. The Prime Minister announced support for refugees and people who helped them. Various types of humanitarian aid come mainly from Poland. Help for Polish families who will want such support due to the fact that they bear certain costs themselves will be managed by local governments. Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs Paweł Jabłoński informed about the continuous assistance for refugees from Ukraine via social channels. Together with the Polish Prime Minister, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Government Strategic Reserve Agency, the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Administration, voivodes and Ukrainian authorities, we have created a system thanks to which over 100 trucks are delivered to Ukraine, daily with assistance, financed by the government, local governments, NGOs, private persons and donors from all over the world. Meanwhile, yesterday U.S. President Joe Biden had an hour-long telephone conversation with President Andrzej Duda. The conversation took place on the initiative of the leader of the United States. Andrzej Duda informed that the American president wanted to know the assessment of the situation from the Polish perspective. I shared my knowledge with the president. I presented the situation to him as we know it, as we perceive it, and what actions NATO can take to help Ukraine. Of course, we are talking primarily about those tasks that are charitable tasks. According to the press office of the White House, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris will visit Poland in the coming days. During the meeting with the Polish authorities, the U.S. Vice President wants to deepen the close coordination of actions in response to Russia's unjustified invasion of Ukraine. Kamala Harris will visit Poland next week. The visit of the U.S. Vice President will demonstrate the strength and unity of NATO and the U.S. support for the allies of the eastern flank in the face of Russian aggression. At the same time, the government spokesman, Piotr Müller, denied the presence of Polish fighter planes in Ukraine. He stressed that Poland does not carry out military operations on the territory of our eastern neighbor.